Blizzard is pretty unique in our support of our games. We should continue supporting as long as people are playing. That's why the Classic Games is here now. We're remastering StarCraft because it still has a huge following. There's so many players out there, and we'd like to welcome those players into our current community. We've taken incredible care of remastering this game because we love it as much as the community does, and we'll be damned if we're going to break it. The most difficult aspect of remastering it has been really going into the source code that's almost 20 years old now. It is kind of funny seeing the names at the top of the files where this is code that's written by Mike Morheim or Frank Pierce. You can see the camaraderie in the way that they coded and, and in the comments that they left. And actually, the code is really good. The gameplay section of it is not being touched at all. Nobody even goes into it. We keep asking ourselves, have we changed the original game? Is it fun? Are we adding value to it? If the answer is no, we cut that feature or we look at a, a different way of doing it spoken to all sorts of people, be the professionals or the streamers or the people who are just playing day to day to make sure that their experience is as good as what it was and we can only enhance that. The game's kind of feel and act like it always has. You still have to micro in the same way, you still have to, to build units in the same way and the strategies that worked 15 years ago will also work today. We want to make sure that as soon as you look at it, you know it's StarCraft. This is Jimmy. Sounds fun. We've had a lot of people that look at it and their initial thoughts is like, what have you done? And we're like, what do you mean? And then we show them the, the low resolution version. They're like, oh my God, I don't remember it like this. I remember it like the HD version. For making sure that the integrity of the look of the game stays the same. Tile sets are looking gorgeous. The units are looking gorgeous. The ability to launch StarCraft from the, the Blizzard launcher and get straight into game and get straight into the chat channels. You're playing your campaign, you know, your progress is being saved and you're, you're finding out where your friends are. You're getting messages from other people on Battle.net. Dynamic lighting should be really noticeable. It'll be an option, so once you turn it on, it'll change the way everything looks pretty drastically. The community had ramps, so we decided that one of the things we are going to add are ramps, and they're going to be any size you want. You can expand them out, you can keep them small. Another great feature is observer mode. You can pull out and see the whole landscape, and then you can zoom right into each one of the individual battles so that you're up close and personal in the action. The cool thing with StarCraft Remastered for the professional player, it's still the game that they know and that they love. Like, we didn't change any of that. But for the viewer, everything that we put in has really been there to just help it light up and make it look fresh and new, and it's more accessible to them. As much as I think everyone's going to be very excited to see this up art in 4K, I, I think the most important element of it is uniting the classic StarCraft community with our current community of players. Blizzard set out to make awesome games that bring people together. StarCraft Remastered is about carrying that tradition on. We do this for love of the community. We are part of it. We hope you enjoy it.